All right, and joining us now is the former Democratic Congresswoman from uh, Illinois, Sherry Bustos, former Republican Congresswoman from New York, Dr. Nan Hayworth. She's also with the Independent Women's Forum. Hello to you both. You've made that exact walk uh, probably hundreds of times in your career. It was kind of weird, honestly, being there today. It was like there wasn't any energy, obviously. There's not much to do in the House right now. Nan, I'll start with you because I was, I was told as... As the congressman there called Matt Gates and the seven others ingrates, you were yeah. you were nodding along in agreement. Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah. Kevin McCarthy uh, has worked tirelessly for uh, fourteen years, I believe it is at this point, for that House majority. Uh, he has indeed made many personal sacrifices, and he's been unstinting in his support. And uh, several of those members, if not every single one of them, received generous uh, assistance uh, through the good offices of Kevin McCarthy and, uh, you know, the uh, the network uh, that, uh, that he commands, if you will, or for which he works so very hard. Uh, so I agree with Michael on that. He happens to be my member of Congress, by the way, Michael Lawler, but, oh, uh, and I okay. supported him and Kevin. Um, but yeah, it's, and it's just disruptive. Uh, there, there's nothing good being accomplished through this action. It was non-strategic. It was disruptive. It was silly. And uh, I just hope that the, the House majority can resolve it quickly next week. Sherry, um, you know, walking through the halls of, of, the, of the Capitol today, it was, it was basically empty. Nothing essentially gets done over the next at least week, right? Oh, yeah, and, and this is all because Kevin McCarthy made this deal with his own Republican conference to say one member could could create this, all this chaos by saying, we don't want you to be our speaker anymore. This all happened because Kevin McCarthy made a deal with the devil, um, and now he's paying for it. And, and worse, the country's paying for it. Uh, Blake, what occurred to me when you were walking down the, uh, the tunnel with uh, Representative Lawler is that he's a moderate. He's in a swing district. And when we look at our nation, I, I, was, I was a Democrat in a Trump district, so I can relate to this. But you know, when you look at what are we going to do uh, going forward to make our country uh, a better place for um, our for governing, and we've got to look at things like gerrymandering. And you know, when you have these extreme right districts or these extreme left districts, that's the kind of person that's elected. Um, when you have a district like where Lawler comes from, a swing district, where you're going to have more reasonable members of Congress. So we got to look at that. We have to look at money and politics. There's just so much we have to look at to get our democracy in a better place. And, I, you know, I think we have some rough days ahead. All right, you say money and politics. I um, want to get to something in a second. H hang around. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.